Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a custom soundboard theme for your iPod Touch. Like, like look at mine. I don't know if you see it that well, but like, yeah, there we go. Okay. First thing you're going to need to do is install a couple soundboard themes to where you get icons from, and maybe wallpaper. I'll get into that in a sec. <laughs> You'll also need uh, either WinSCP or QFGB Pro. I have both of them, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using WinSCP. Just seems to work a little better when it comes to soundboard themes. Okay. First, you need to go to your computer and you need to make a new folder. Name it whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna name it Bill B. Okay. Next, you need icons. I will go into the Spike X to get those icons because those icons are awesome. And I will copy them and paste them into that folder. Next, this is optional. If you want a status bar, I'm going to use the one from the Vista theme, which kind of looks like this. I will copy that and paste it in to there. <coughs> Sorry. To where? Inside it'll look like this. I have icons, status bar. <laughs> Next, you can do out of two things. You can either go into Photoshop and make a custom theme using a picture you already have, or you could take a different theme and take the wallpaper from that. I will be using Photoshop. So, let me open up Photoshop. While that's opening, some people have been asking me uh, which icons I what that this has come from. Come from a couple different ones. Uh, came from real uh, the crisp reflect. The um, I'll just get a list in a sec. Or if you need, just email me and I'll give you a link to them. The whole theme, but uh, yeah. See, that's almost up. Okay, next you need to file new. Make sure it's set to 320 by 280 pixels. Press OK, and it'll come up right here. Yeah. Next, double click on the side. And this will pop up. And you just go look for a um, thing. A uh, picture. My documents, my pictures, the best place. And, uh, let's do an iPhone. And just fit it the iPhone, then press this tool right there, I'm using CS3 by the way, and uh, just drag it, like that, right there, it's perfect, or you can raise it up a little bit to where you can get pretty much everything, like that, if you're satisfied with the file, save as, go to your desktop, and look for that folder. Like you said, my name, my, the name for mine is Philip B. And save it as a PNG file. And press save. Okay. Now just minimize that for now. And when you open up your Philip B theme, there should be three things in it now. Something I didn't do earlier. Rename your wallpaper. Make sure it's 
wall paper or else it will not work <coughs> okay now you're ready to SSH I'm gonna be using one SCP but I also have QFTP Pro if I use QFTP Pro more this one SCP works better for me right now login connecting and it's logging in okay so I'm going to do now so go where it says this drop down menu right here go to var and then mobile library summer board and themes you have a list of all the themes on your iPod. Now, you will simply take your theme and drag it into an SCP and press copy. It will do this. And pretty much done now. Now go to your iPod, go into Summer Board, theme. If you scroll down, you'll see it'll be right there. And then, like this, you'll see it better right here. But, uh, it'll be right there. Just do that, set it down, and, uh, now you've got the Vista Size Bar and the thing. That's my tutorial on how to do that. If you need any help, just either message me or email me. My email will be in the uh, video description. And uh, that's it. Uh, glad I could help. If this works, then subscribe. Bye.